We had a pretty cool quant crawler update rollout last night. I put the video first in our Discord, so if you aren't in there, please join it. There's over 2,500 people in there. I'm going to start doing all of my updates first within Discord, and then about 12 hours later, videos like this are going to hit YouTube. Either way, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your support, and I'm excited to show you what I just rolled out and built. So let's go over and take a look at what we just rolled out last night. Okay, guys, so you get here, start your free trial. Or if you're already a member, which some of you are, most of you are, just go ahead and log in. And this is what you're going to see right when you come in. What's new? This is new to tell you what's new and what we've adjusted. So instruments and position calculator and a feedback form. So once you click got it, you're not going to see this again until I push a new update. So make sure you read it, click got it, close it out, whatever. That will store it. That's not going to pop up every time you log in. Now, I will say this. I uh, would not be a uh, startup software if I did not tell you today is the last day for our Black Friday deal. If you click this, you can get a 12-month membership for $89.99. Otherwise, it's $9.99 a month after you get your free trial. So this comes to about $7.50 a month, 25% off. The sale ends tonight at midnight Pacific Standard Time. If not, get a free trial, $9.99 a month. Anyways, we're done with that, but, you know, I shamelessly plug it. I do it every time. So I'm not going to go in and do a full breakdown of what Quant Crawler is and how it works. I have a ton of videos out on that. We'll roll another one out soon. But I want to tell you the two things I'm excited about, and you can see them on the left-hand side in green. They are marked with new. So you can clearly see every time I make an update what is new and what's been rolled out. So... The first one is a feedback form. This here, I'm going to start on the left. It's a bug. Is something broken? Were you using Quant Crawler and something came up? You're not in the Discord. You don't know how to submit a ticket. Instead of being like, oh, this sucks. I'm going to cancel. Tell me what's wrong so I can fix it. You can put in a ticket for a bug. Put in your email if you want me to follow up with you. It's not required. It is required, however, to put in a subject and then a message. And this part right here is not meant to be condescending. So it says, what happened? What did you expect? And steps to reproduce. Not like, well, what did you think was going to happen when you did that? It's like, I need to know what you expected the outcome to be and what didn't happen and how you got there if you remember so I can have an opportunity to reproduce it and try and fix it. So that's the first step. The next one is a feature. You have a cool new idea like, hey, this would be really cool to have this implemented in and it would be a big quality of life thing for me if this was in here. You can do that right here. General feedback. Hey, this website's awesome. Hey, this website sucks. Um, whatever. You can email me there. All of these come straight to my email. Um, I'm the only one that monitors them. So let me know what I can do to be better. Support. This is going to be like if you have account stuff. Hey, I can't get logged in. Hey, I want to cancel my trial. Hey, I need to, you know, whatever. I want to buy a lifetime membership and I want to give you money for that. Like you can do that here. That's fine. Just let me know. We'll figure it out. So that's the feedback tab. This next piece right here is the one I'm most excited about that I built because it's been asked for a lot. So it's the instruments page. Before I even show you what this is up here, you guys always hear me talk about risk to reward, but everything that you see here in these tabs, futures, forks, and crypto, all of these symbols and tickers that you see are hard coded into the framework within Quant Crawler. So if you run any of these in futures, the tick size and the tick value is already calculated into the framework to immediately run the math correctly. So this is on futures, it's on Forex and crypto, the tick value to the tick size listed here in the contracts. And then the main one with this is your risk to reward positioning. So I have risking $500 to make 1,000, a one to two risk to reward. If you scale this and you put this at 5,000, you're looking at a one to 10. You then need to put in your stop distance or like what you want your stop loss to be, what you're comfortable with. So like that goes off of the ticker you're trading. So for example, ES, I will leave a 10 point stop on ES. It's fairly conservative. It's enough to where I'm not gonna immediately get ticked out. The opening range on ES is normally around 10 points, a little bit, I mean, it, it varies from like eight points to 12. So if I have my stop loss at, let's say 10 ticks, and I want to do a 500 to $1,000 risk to reward, this is going to tell me with a 10 point stop on ES, and I'm risking 500, I wanna do four contracts, with a 10 point stop. And then of course this scales, right? Like if I want more breathing room and I want 20, this then changes to two contracts. I want a 20 point gap from my stop loss to entry price, give myself some breathing room and I'm targeting a one to two risk to reward. So this is how you can really scale to see on ES, for example, two contracts, $500 to make 1000. You're going in with a 20 point stop. Then you look at MES, 
a lot of people are like, if you do a $200 risk, like I'll show you, if you, if you don't have a stop loss and you go to MES and you click 200, you're going to have a massive stop loss and a massive take profit that's probably never going to hit unless there's like a catastrophic news event. So then you're going back to the contracts, you're closing out the position, losing a couple dollars, paying all the fees to close that out. And then on top of that, you're like, hey, let's try three contracts. Well, look at the difference, 200 to 400 on a one to two with a 20 point stop. MES, you need to get eight contracts to actually have this be a reasonable one so you can scale in or scale out as it goes. And this calculator is going to actually build that for you and tell you this is what you should be doing. This here is a very valuable tool if you don't know how to scale in and out of contracts and how much you should be buying. Like for me, I always do $500 to 1000. That's just, that's what I do. It's my template. And let's say I'm doing a 10 point stop on ES. I'm going to be looking at four contracts. That's going to give me my 10 point breathing room. As an example, it just tells me what you need to do. So with that being said, this is the new tool that everyone's been asking for. These are the tickers that are hard coded in for futures. These are all the ones for Forex. And this is a really good example here. If there's a Forex that you trade and it's not in here, come on down to this cool handy new feedback button. Do feature, do feedback, do support, whatever. It all comes, all of these come to my inbox. They're just labeled different when they hit my inbox so I can prioritize. Like if there's a bug, I'm gonna see that right away. And I'm not telling you that so you can abuse it and put in a bug and say, hey, this ticker isn't in here. That's not a bug. That's a feature that needs to be added in or it's feedback. Like use bugs for bugs. But this is where you could put in, hey, could you please add this ticker? It's important to me. This is what I trade. You can do that. You can also see what's already in here. And maybe this will open your eyes too to other things like maybe you're not trading this stuff and you want to you didn't even know you could you didn't even know that quant crawler could calculate any of this like there's 44 things in here and the top tickers every day are always gc mgc and nq um so anyways this is what i built out this is what's there now you can go to quantcrawler.com you can do the black friday deal for 90 dollars for a year 9.99 a month after a 30-day trial if you don't want to do that and use this as a tool to help you win more trades